Hello and welcome back to Fable the Lost Chapters with yours truly Lord and Cinder the Mad. I'm going to the next round because I am the High Lord of Flurses Harbinger. I'm 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 the High Lord of Flurses Yes, all that. I wasn't even trying anymore, was I? <laughs> I guess I'm just angered because I accidentally ended the recording while I was planning to use one file for this, these two videos. Oh well. It's cool though. Oh, that's already dead. Whoops. That's already dead also. <laughs> you call humans these things, okay? Nice whisper. Or is it only white people you call that? Huh? Come on, get in there. Alright, so there are quite a few of these big fellas. There's also the problem of ranging range combatants, which is not nice. Because they take out my shield from far, far away, over the hills and over the seas as it goes, if I remember correctly. No, it wasn't, it was something else. It, what was it? What was it over? God damn it, I don't remember. Oh, a crunchy chick! Hmm. Need more of those so I can get my evil deed of the day done at the gate over there. Alternatively, I could try to get one of those annoying, uh, you know, bodyguards and carry them there and then murder them brutally. But eating crunchy chicks is much more fun because chicks are delicious and crunchy. It's the bones that make them crunchy, see? They're kind of raw though. Come on! Fall over, dead! I'm gonna punt, kick you in the crotch until you die. You won't die from that, sadly. He will die from this, though. See? Bam! On the head! Bam! On the head! Bam! Oh, he's still alive. Yeah, I'm going, going, going. The crowd seems quite happy about me. Or it's just one lady in the crowd that's going all avatar. Go, go, go! It's nice having fans. Me, come on. Fall over dead. You too. Fall over dead. Where are the assassins? Or is it not ex assassins, it's, it's actually just those uh, more advanced uh, crossbow units? Yeah, it seems to be so. Come on, come on, wherever you are, I want to kill you, bastards, bandits, fools. Yeah, let me over there. Come on. What have you got for me, eh? Yeah, I'm about to go, go, go me. Yay. Oh, hey, I have a halo now. Check it. Yes, I want to play more of this arena. I am not quitting. I must say I have never actually backed out of a fight. In the arena, in this game. 
So I don't know what happens then. <laughs> Other than the apparent uh, smaller amount of gold given or something. Oh, I should have. I think I did. Oh, wait, hey, that's dead. I think. It looked dead. Yeah, it's dead. Good. You could die too now. Come on, let's get the XP and the gems. Nice. That is just a potion. Where's the gems? That's the gem. Good. I, I, that I do, I want all the money. All of it. Hit him in the groin! Three, two, one! Let's do some serious damage. Yes, okay. Go! Are you groin? I'm gonna hit you in the groin anyway. I want to hit you in the groin if you're groin. If you're not groin, I'm gonna hit you anyway. Whoop. Oh, these are the guys who do that. Right. Yes, yes, I'm go, go, going. Don't have to tell me. Come on, Mr. Rocky. That's a lie, Guild Master. My build energy is completely fine, which is why I drank another potion. But at least it's fine now that I have drink, drunk another potion. Yeah. Come on, you better be groin or my chopping of your groin is going to be completely useless. If you're not groin, oh, sucks to be you. Let's get over there. What was this guy's name? Maybe this is groin. Because I don't remember the other name, I'm going to call this one groin as well. And I'm then going to hammer it in the groin. That sounds all sorts of wrong. Yay! Excellent. No, it's not actually trying to do anything. It's going to stand around like an idiot while I hammer away at its crotch. And knees. Come on, we can bite right through his angle, ankles. We can do it. Get his ankles. I wish I could actually bite those ankles. That would be awesome. Oh god damn it, I lost XP because I wasn't paying attention. I should have pulled shift for a moment. Oh, wow. Another 8,000 gold. 18,600 in the bag. And only one round to go. Is it worth dying for another 10,000? Oh, yeah, let's go. Yay, Three, spider! Two, one, That's a spider, right? Go. Yes! No, no? Oh, scorpion! Uh, so cool, Arachnox! So cool, you just fire off in that direction, that'll be fine by me. I'm just going to slap your bum with my hammer. I'm gonna hammer your butt. And then you just push me over because you're awesome like that. Come on, fall over and... Wow! Just from moving it takes down all that shield. Wow. I suppose it's more an avoidance game until it tries to laser me. Yeah, there. Now let's get behind it and kick its butts. 
Yo. Little ones! Get them all! Get them! Get them! They're so little, they need to be gotzed. They gotzed. Okay. Hey, Arachnox. Or whatever your name is. Where are you? Ah, over here. Scorpions? Uh, they aren't very nice. But this one should be very poisonous though, because the smaller they are, the more poisonous they are. This bloody bastard is huge. He's probably absolutely not poisonous at all. The only way for him to do damage is to stomp on us. Which it constantly tries to do. Oh, hey. Thanks for mentioning that, Guildmaster. Otherwise, I could have missed my. You know. Untouched thingy. It doesn't scratch stuff. Ah, time for the laser gun, eh? That's cool. Oh, where are you going? Oh. Hey, little ones! Get hammered! Have some beer! And some meat. Meat and beer. For the little ones, so they can get hammered. That's a good idea, right? It's a sound plan, a sound strategy, something that can get me through this fight. Without too much harm caused to me or Whisper. Who will survive this thing? Because Thunder would not forget me otherwise. Forgive me otherwise, I mean. Oh god damn it. Get back here. Though to be fair, Thunder is still going to hate me, but hey. I don't want him hating me. Oh. Sizzle butts! Stop it! Stop it, Scorpio Wopi! Ah! Just let him charge his, charge his laser. Yeah, that. So you can hammer him. Like this. Bam! 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 And boom! It's fading into the ground. Dispersing into pieces and experience. Nice. I think that counts as victory. Not bad. We have two winners. Incredible. So, what will happen? Two winners and only one prize? Well, as you know, we have a special guest here today. It's the one, the only, the hero of heroes, Jack of Blades! I have returned. After an eternity away from you all, Jack of Blades is back. This arena is all that is great in Albion, and you all that is worthy of it. I am honored to stand before you again. And I have a proposal to mark the occasion. One final round. A fight to the death between the two heroes still standing. The winner will receive a special prize. The loser will have the privilege of dying before you. What do they think they're doing? They can't do this. I'm going to put on a good fight. But I'm not killing you. I can't kill you. We came here to put on a good show. And that's what we're going to do. Let's go. Agreed. Very she. Oh, there. Hammer! Ham her! Oh hey, you have that move? The first playthrough of this game I had, I used that move with time, still time and it was amazing. Really amazing. Damn, you've improved. Does it really surprise her that I, I have gained experience levels since we last fought. That was back in Orchard Farm, you know. You. 
Out of my face, Whisper. I know it isn't. I'm just fighting to the point where you say, "Yeah, thanks, good fun, good times." Now, will you please spare me? And then I will spare you, Whisper. See, there. Don't have to kneel before me, Whisper. Will he do it? Will he kill Whisper? Or will he throw his victory away? Don't do it, farm boy. We agreed. Just walk out. We agreed. Let's stop fighting now. Yes. Alright. So thank you, good crowd of the arena. <gasps> a flower for me. Are there more flowers? Farm hero. No, I just needed to do another flower searching uh, round. I don't think I've actually just left before. But I forgot my manners. I am Lady Parade, the Mayor of Bowerstone. I can see you are a man of worth. You should pay me a visit at my Bowerstone North Manor. My lady, if you would only live. Thunder, I am tired of your protests, tired of your jealousy. The time of your glory is long gone. You should learn to accept that. As I was saying, Hero, I do hope you will accept my invitation. We have much to discuss. This is not war. New blood spills just like any other, and yours will spill soon. That was unbelievable. I haven't seen anything like it for a long time. I'll guide you back through the Hall of Heroes. You truly deserve to stand amongst them. I must say, you remind me of someone who fought here many years ago. Memory's not what it used to be, but I think her name was Scarlet Robe. That's right. Ever heard of her? Probably not. It was all before your time. But if you look on your right, you'll see her statue. She was the first female hero to become arena champion. Mom? Why does your... Eagle have balls. Oh, there's a legs probably. <sighs> yeah, get it over with Chuck. He was a fine hero. Just as soft hearted as you. But her dedication came with a price. After her final battle, she was never the same. She lives now in complete solitude. Crushed by her failure to save her family long ago. And yet here you are. I knew her son would end up here one day. It's in your blood. Literally. And in your sister's too. You should bring her to me. I so long to reunite you both with your mother. Just think of the happiness it would bring her. This was the true face of his mother. Scarlet Robe, Slayer of Balverines. Once one of the fiercest heroes in all of Albion, yet her most splendid battle was also to be her last. Ambushed by a dozen Balverines, Scarlet killed them all, only to fall injured and drained beside their corpses. There she would have died but for Brom, a kind and simple woodsman who tended her back to health. In time they married and had two children, a girl and then a boy. Scarlet's days of death were forever behind her. Or so she thought. Whatever you decide, you've earned a champion seal. People everywhere will recognize you as the winner of the arena. 
and it will grant you access to Barriston North. Don't lose it. It is rather valuable. Was it also something that helped me... Was it also something that helped Jack keep tabs on me? I don't really remember. Probably. King Cops and Skill. Yeah, okay, I made a lot of money. It's good. Good. All that money. Hey, you. Freezer went to the meter at the grey house. Cool. Nice work. I'll meet her there. So, you finally met Jack of Blades. I met him long ago, of course, when he burned down our home and cut out my eyes. But he wasn't lying when he said he knew where Mother was. He's kept her in Bargate Prison ever since the night of the raid. I haven't been able to get inside. But the archaeologist knows of an ancient secret passage. You've met him already, haven't you? Jack's creatures are still after him, just like they're after me. I can't stay here much longer. I've left the details in a quest card at the guild. You have to get Mother out. She's the only one who knows how to reach the sword. You did read the book I sent, didn't you? The sword is everything, and it could turn the world to nothing. Oh, and Mother has a gift for you too. More power than you can imagine. I actually have not read the book because it kind of works like this. Right. Inventory. Items. Oh, no. This hero status. Lockbook. Pukes. Where is it? The bloodline. Though the old kingdom vanished centuries ago, pieces of it remain scattered throughout Albion. The killed in its magnificent glory, ruined architectural corpses, dark and unholy secrets dropping beneath the earth but more survives than stone and magic for there is still among us the living legacy of the kingdom itself a lineage that is connected with all that made the kingdom great and somehow ended up destroying it whether they are, whether they are the descendants of Arkan himself or the makers of the sword, or perhaps of those who managed to extinguish its power, it is not known. Though generations separate them from the days of the fall, there walk today survivors of this bloodline, and an ancient power courses through the reins. They may live as heroes, or they may hide among the masses, but they link to the sword wielded by Arkan himself, the Sword of Eons is confirmed in all the documents I have unearthed. If I, if I can find the living descendants of this bloodline, I may be able to uncover what happened to the sword. And perhaps the day of the old I cannot scroll beneath this line because the aspect ratio is fucking things up. Yay! Right. Actually, I can solve this in another manner. Anyway... As I cannot play this game properly from a window, the game crashed as soon as I alt tabbed. Not that unexpected, but still unwelcome. So, the rest of the text went... Wait, uh, let me find where it left off so I can tell you where the, how the rest of the text goes. Where is it? Bloodline. Uh, the bloodline, even. Uh, let's scroll down. Uh, perhaps the day of the old, the days of the old kingdom can be restored. There is one to whom all the signs direct me. Though she lives a quiet life now, she has done much to mark her as the one. And now the bloodline continues through her children, a son and a daughter. And the power that lives in her will 
in her will be best on to them when they that way nothing lives on in her will it's just that her power will be passed on yes that that's the way I kind of went about it wrong right then let's just clear this area I finished before you in the human race that's a pun not dead, only sleeping, buried me anyway, unlucky. Let me out. Ooh, that's a nice statue. Better than that, that viper one I'm currently using. No, not viper. Spider. I'm not particularly fond of spiders. As my options for the tattoos. Oh right. Spot and enemies. What? Who did that? That was rude. Of course, I hit no one with my flourish thingy. Then everyone. Can I take the corpse now? Okay. Ages of skill to help with my archery, so we can get that door open. Darling, clan later to you. Stuff. And dusty notebook. Which I also cannot read because of the sim same problem I just displayed. Ages of will. And a silver chest. For sharper hammers. That makes no sense at all. No more beard. That's the one I already have currently. Found oh, nothing interesting. How bloody. Surprising. Alright, so I need to diggy diggy here. Wait, no, here? Here. I saw the digging spot. It's right around here. And yeah, this is the two. It was just the two. That was why the gravestone was being all wonky. For the two. To show me that I need to go get to the two. Ah, fix this. Fight me. What do you say? Single men not allowed. You need a ball and chain. A posh one with a title. Oh, I need to marry Lady Grey. And that's fine, really. Guess I can become mayor after I murder her. I mean, not murder her. Point out that she murdered someone. Right, that way. Come on, get over here. And kill you as well. Land for me, you bugger. She's unwilling to do so. Now I no longer have my flourish. Get back here. There we go. Now everything's dead. Another silver key. How many is that now? That is exactly... How many? 13, I still need two more before I can get those chests opened that have 15 keys required to work quite a few of those, you know. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.